This is Paul with Trader Tools FX. Today I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use the Elliott Wave Easy Counter script as of version 3.0. Download the script ex4 file by clicking Download Current Version. This script has internal parameters, so you should grab the source files too. Click Browse Source, and for each file listed, click Download File. It's also a good idea to download the object removal tool because it'll save you a lot of time. Once the files have been downloaded, open up MT4, go to File, Open Data Folder. Inside that directory is a, is a folder named MQL4. Go back to the files you just downloaded. Move the EX4 and the MQ4 files into the scripts folder. Move the MQH file into the include folder. Now restart MT4. You will now find the Elliott Wave Easy Counter script under scripts in the navigator window. To use the counter script, simply drag and drop to mark waves. By default, these labels will go to 8 before resetting to 1. To change the parameters, click on the script, right click, and select Modify. Now scroll down to the Parameters section. Num waves is the number of waves per cycle. I set it to 8 for the typical 5 wave through wave pattern. You may, want to you may want to separate this into two separate scripts, one for counting in the 5 wave pa pattern and one for the 3 wave pattern, setting the num waves parameter to 5 and 3 respectively. Most of the other parameters are pretty self-explanatory. Text color, font size, font, Label type can either be numeric or letter, depending on your preference. And the object prefix. This parameter is only important if you plan on making multiple counter scripts. For each new script, this prefix should be changed to something unique. Anytime you make a change to the parameters, you'll need to reco recompile the script. For example, let's change numeric to letter. Now, if you want to create separate scripts for different counts, you can do so easily. Let's say I want to make a set of scripts, one for five wave counts and one for three wave counts. All you have to do is go to File, Save As. You can name the script whatever you want. 
I will prepend the name with a 5 for my 5 wave counter script. Set the parameters, 5. I'm going to set the color to blue and numeric. Don't forget to change the object prefix and compile. Now for my three wave script, I will do the same thing. And I'll set this to red and letter. And of course, changing the object prefix again. Compile. Now, if I go back to MT4, I'll see the new scripts here. Let me clear the old ones off. Obviously, these aren't very good wave counts, but it's just for demonstration purposes. It's worth noting that these two scripts that I just created are independent of each other, so the 5-3 pattern wave counts do not need to be in sequence. Um, so I could be on wave 4 and, for whatever reason, mark the next one A. Um, it could be useful in some certain scenarios. That's about it for the wave counter. Now back to the object removal script. I want to show you why this comes in handy with the wave counter. Now say I had um, marked a thousand cycles on a chart. That could be pretty difficult to remove without removing all the objects that I already have on the chart that I made myself. Um, if you wish to only reset or delete your wave counts but keep all your other chart objects, you can achieve this without affecting the other objects by using the removal script properly do not leave the object prefix parameter blank unless you wish to, to delete every object on your chart. Input the object prefix or prefixes separated by a comma that you used in the obj prefix parameter. I used wave counter under slash was the default, per, uh, default prefix wave counter three for the three ones but actually if you if you do it like this you can simply enter wave counter because that will include wave counter three under slash and wave counter five under slash and there I've deleted all my wave counts without affecting the other objects on the chart that's it I hope you find these tools useful thank you for watching